HBO has gotten this down to a point and they've perfected it. How's it? Welcome back to Tama Takes Reviews. My name is Sean Tama. This is where I give you my take. Hit that like and subscribe button if you feel necessary to keep informed for new reviews. Comment down below what you think of Mayor of Easttown. Mayor of Easttown, HBO Max series. The final episode was last week and HBO does it again. The first thing I'll say is if you liked any of those HBO shows, Big Little Lies, The Undoing, The Outsider, you're gonna like this one because it's basically the same type of story. There's a murder and we have to follow our main character and a whole bunch of other people to try and figure out what happened. And of course there's a twist at the end. Not really a twist, but like, you know, who did it? There's a bunch of suspects and there's a bunch of characters that we meet and you're like, you have to try and figure out who did it. So the formula is there and HBO knows how to not take it too long because I think this is seven episodes. I know a couple of them were 10 episodes. So I think seven episodes is perfect for this kind of show. They're all an hour long. They drop them once a week. They don't let you binge it. Even though I, I waited till the last week to binge it because the way that they end episodes, it's like, what the fuck? So that's my first thing. If you like those shows, you're gonna like this show. Second positive, Kate Winslet, great performance. She has the dialect down of where, they're, where they are. I have some family in Delaware and she hits the dialect perfectly. It's quite insane that she was able to do such a good job with that. I'd also never seen her in a role quite like this. Obviously she's most known for Titanic. I haven't watched much of her and this show makes me want to kind of go back and watch her other work because she did such a good job in this show. Evan Peters is in this as well. He does a great job. I like Evan Peters. He's done a bunch of American Horror Story. I first saw him in One Tree Hill. Taking it back old school, fellas. There were a couple of side stories that didn't quite fit into the, to the narrative. Kind of a waste of time. There was a love interest for Mare, Kate Winslet's character, that I understand why they had it. They had this kind of outside person not a, affiliated with anything that she was doing. She was, he was not affiliated with the investigation. He was just kind of there. But he would only pop up at certain times when the plot needed it didn't need to be there. When we finally find out the conclusion, very satisfying. And looking back, if you can pay attention to little things that happen, you should be able to find out what happened. No spoilers, obviously. I personally was not able to figure out. It crossed my mind for maybe a split second for one particular scene, and I thought, no way. But in the end, I really didn't think it was going to be who it was, so. Major props to the storytelling and all that kind of stuff for kind of keeping me on my toes and they'll, I'm sure they'll keep you on your toes. These, these shows, I like these shows a lot. I would highly, highly recommend you check this out. Should you watch this show? You know that? That is gonna do it for the take today. I'll catch you next time. Shits.